Well, the Sacramento Voter Registration and Election Office uh, released a 21 page, 21 page coronavirus preparedness plan, which you can weigh in on. It covers things like disinfection schedules and social distancing layouts, but it also prepares for long lines and potentially heated arguments. There's no pandemic. I'm filing a f***ing lawsuit. I Across the country, meltdowns over mask mandates. For violation, my constitutional rights and my civil rights. This Miami man was refused entry to a grocery store. And in Dallas, a woman set off after being asked to mask up. Yeah. Closer to home, a family escorted out of a Turlock Walmart. There are fears these face covering fights may flare up at election centers. What if people show up who don't want to follow health guidelines, but yet, you know, we want to make sure they vote? Kimberly Nadler of the Project for an Informed Electorate says election officials in Sacramento County are walking the line between safety and the right to vote very carefully. Our concern is for the safety of our voters and our election officers that are going to be working at the vote center. In its coronavirus preparedness plan, the Voter Registration and Elections Office states masks are highly encouraged, but no voter shall be turned away if they are not wearing a mask. In-person voters will be offered a mask if they don't have one, and accommodations can be made if someone refuses to wear one. We can service those voters curbside so we can come out to meet them uh, or we will ask the voter to patiently wait while we create a safe space for them to be able to come in and vote while maintaining social distancing. Poll workers will be trained on de-escalation techniques but if an altercation arises law enforcement will be called to step in. Now, for those who are hesitant of going inside of an election center, officials say there are plenty of options this year, especially with voter choice and mail-in voting. Uh, ballots can be mailed back or put into one of these ballot drop boxes or even submitted through curbside voting. Election officials say their best advice is to vote early.